I grew up in a racing family. Dad was into all kinds of racing, drag racing, sprint car racing, pretty much anything with wheels, it's fast. Uh, I took to it really well and within a year we had, my dad had found a used go-kart and we started racing go-karts and never stopped. The, the sprint cars represent to me just the rawest, meanest, most brutal race cars that the world has produced. It's a bare bones, brutal race car that is all about horsepower and a driver that can tame it. I grew up in a sprint car family, so sprint car racing was just what we did. Every Saturday night, that was the thing to do. The, the feeling I get at a racetrack is like nothing else. You know, I've, I've experienced it since I was nine years old. Uh, when you're at a racetrack and the smells and the sounds and the feel, and from a driver's standpoint, it's hard to describe to people, it's hard to explain it. Uh, any race car driver will tell you the moment when you're out on the racetrack and you're strapped in and you're pacing the field and you're coming around for the green flag. That adrenaline is just insane, it's awesome. From a very early age, I was always hands-on. Uh, even my, my toys, my, my, my bikes, anything. When stuff would go wrong with them, I wanted to work on them. My race cars, it, you take it to a whole new level of you're not only bringing it to life and letting it make noise, now you're testing it. You're really pushing it to the limits to see just what that can do. I finished up the maintenance on this car to get it ready for a race this weekend in Pennsylvania. It was a pretty simple maintenance on this time around, just to change oil. I use Valvoline 2050 racing oil. I stick with Valvoline oil filters because I've had really good luck with them. Once they're done being prepared, we always like to fire them off and test them and make sure they're ready to go, make sure they run. These cars sit for months on end and the fuel systems go completely dry because they're pickled to do that. And I checked for spark and we had spark and we could get it to just light a little bit on gasoline, but the fuel pump obviously wasn't pumping. That's why we go to those tests. Uh, you know, our next step is now we load the car up from Lawrenceburg, we go home and we get a late night in the shop of figuring this race car out. This is pretty much the way it goes a lot of times with vintage race cars. It's not a smooth flowing, well-planned, event. Uh, you know, you run into problems. It's a hassle, it's a headache sometimes, it's late nights, it's stressful, but I'd have it no other way. It's my passion, it's what I love to do, and it's something that I'll do the rest of my life and just keep trying to pass the knowledge on to others. Tomorrow it, we'll be laughing about it and I'll be telling the story to everyone at the track of why I'm yawning and why I'm tired because I've been up since two in the morning. <laughs>